Yo, what's going on, everyone? My name is Beast, and welcome back to another video. And as you can see, I'm back with a triple upload. You guys don't usually hear that, or at least I think you don't. Um, but um, I'm coming back to you guys with the triple upload. And you guys probably think it's not a big deal, but for me it is because I did a double upload, and I thought that was crazy because I don't really do that on the channel. And I came with the triple upload, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be uploading this the same day I uploaded the first two videos of the day. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video because I'm coming back at you guys with the Photoshop video. A lot of you guys liked the lo liked the last Photoshop video. That one did really well. So thank you guys for all the support. My mic's falling off. Holy crap! All right. So um, basically, I might change this into a series where I just show you guys how to or how I use Photoshop. And so I might change the title of the last Photoshop video that I made, which was like in less than a month. So yeah, basically in this episode of how to or how I use Photoshop. I'm going to show you guys how to make a vertical overlay. If you don't know what that is, it's basically, I'm going to show you guys some examples above. Basically, when you have like a, vi um, a vertical game, like uh, I'd say Clash Royale or Pokemon Go. Um, I use this for examples because I how you play those on the channel. But basically, I'm going to show you guys how to do an overlay for that. Because when you, when you record a video, oh, I'm sorry guys, I like stuttering way too much. I'm pretty sure you guys can't stand my stuttering. But when you record a video... Uh, like if it's Clash Royale, Pokemon Go, etc. Uh, basically, it comes out like in a angle where it's like vertical, and uh, some people will make a an overlay, something called an overlay. Again, if you don't know what that is, I already showed you some examples, and so I'm gonna show you how to make one like that. So basically, you're gonna want to get a screenshot. I'm gonna go ahead and put one right up right now. Alright, so I just got one on my home screen, and I just went, go, went into my gallery, and uh, brought one up. And uh, you guys already know, like, I don't usually stutter this much. You guys already know that, like, I do stutter a lot, but I don't stutter this much. I don't know why I'm stuttering this much. Um, I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with that with, I'm sick today. Some of you guys already know that if you've been watching the first two videos of the day. So basically, um, you want to get a picture that's like a vertical motion. This is how it, it would look if you'd record a video. Instead, it would be like... On this side over here, it would be like black, and over here it'd be like black too. These two rectangles on the sides. So um, since it, they're like rectangles, not rectangles, like squares, or like a checkerboard. That means it's like a PNG basically. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make an overlay, just a simple one, and I'm also gonna show you guys how you can make your own, so you can design your own. So you wanna get like this thing right here. Uh, the I have like like some kind of selection tool. And so you want to go ahead and uh, make sure you like do it up here. And you want to go ahead and align that perfectly to the side. Um, you want to go ahead and select that. You want to go ahead and add a layer. I forgot to mention that. Just add an empty layer up here on the side. And uh, go ahead and fill and stroke. Basically, you're just going to go ahead and uh, make it any color. I'm going to show you guys how to like make it with any color you like. So that uh, you could do that. So let's just go ahead and do purple. Let's go ahead and duplicate that layer. So I'm going to go over here. I'm actually going to go over here and click duplicate layer. You get the same thing. Now go to transform and just shift it to the other side. And there you go. You can add some pictures. I'm going to go ahead and add some picture for you guys. Alright guys, there you go. I added some little example pictures for you guys. And so basically, this is how it would look like if you just put like a, just one color. You could go ahead and add like some little, let's say, you could go ahead and go here. Just do something like this. Just go ahead and mess around with it if you'd like. And fill that in with like some colors. So you could go ahead and do blue. And you could go ahead and just, just make some shapes and then you can add them, just put them in the back. You can just make some shapes, make your own little background. But if you guys want to have like your own personal background and use it as an overlay, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So basically, you just want to go ahead and clear that up. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of that. So let's do that right now. Because I don't really like that blue little triangle thing. I'm going to go ahead and clear that. And let's go ahead and get rid of the little... Let's actually get rid of everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of everything. 
Get rid of that. Get rid of that. That and the little purple rectangles on the sides. I'm going to get rid of that as well. And so, um, basically, just go ahead and take out your background that you have. And then I'll show you guys how to do this. Alright guys, so I got a background that's the exact same as my wallpaper as you can see right here. So, oh, I forgot to move it. So basically, uh, as you can see, it is the same as my um, home screen wallpaper. And so you want to go ahead and rotate this with whichever background that you have. I want to go ahead and rotate it and just turn it to the side. And uh, go ahead and uh, just align it to the side just like how you did with the selection tool. And you could do that. It cuts off the edges because, of course, you put it out a certain, uh, a certain amount of pixels. Of the height and the width and so basically it's just going to cut off and you could go ahead and uh add a layer actually you don't even have to add a layer or you could actually you duplicate a layer and you could go ahead and go here i like to uh, flip x so that it's like the total opposite and then go ahead and turn it here and actually make it look really cool now if you really want to do like a cool blur uh because you guys already know my thumbnails i like to blur on my thumbnails um basically you just want to go over here Let's see. You want to go ahead and select. I don't know which one is on. It's on the first one. So you want to go ahead and select pixels. And it'll select the rectangle. And so basically just go ahead and over here to effects. And just click the Glacian Blur. I think it's what it's called. I'm not sure. Holy crap. It's lagging on me. So uh, usually what I would do is just select pixels and blur it. So I'm just going to do that because I don't want it to mess up on me again. I have no idea why it is. And then click on this one. Go ahead and select pixels on that. And just, oh no, not drop shadow. I want to do the blur. And there you go. You have like a cool little looking blur. And then go ahead and add some more pictures if you like. And make sure the PNG, I forgot to mention that. But make sure the PNG, I did um, make a video on how to get PNG files. You guys can go check it out. It's like really, really like down there in the videos. It's a really old video. So if you actually want to see that, it's um, it's pretty far in the channel. So you can go ahead and check it out. But I'm just going to go ahead and get some more pictures. Alright, there you guys have it. I put some more little uh, examples on here. So, um, that's basically all for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea to show, give you guys another tutorial on Photoshop Touch. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And again, I mentioned this last video. Um, if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter at It's Beast one So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video.